sure we're all on the same page as we go over how to graph a equation um, using slope intercept form. So if you are one of those students that's like, man, I do not remember how to graph using slope intercept form, my best advice to you would be to identify the slope and the y intercept first. No matter what, just always write it down. There's nothing wrong with it. It takes two seconds. Identify what the slope is. I'm going to write it as 2 over 1. I always write the slope as a ratio. And then identify the y-intercept, which is a coordinate point, where b, right? It's 0 comma b, and you do that. Then, as we're going to go ahead and graph, the first thing, first step you want to do is plot the y-intercept. So we have an x-axis, and we have a y-axis. Remember, where they intersect is what we call the origin, which is at 0, 0. So to plot the y-intercept, I go to 0, 1, and I plot the point. <coughs> then I use the slope to find any other point that's on the line. So remember, you can think of slope as the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates, or rise over run. So I could go from my y-intercept, uh, y I go up 2, because the rise is 2, to the right, 1. You could also think of this as a negative 2 over negative 1, because negative 2 divided by negative 1 still gives you positive 2. And then you could go down to a rise of negative 2 and a run of negative 1. Either way you look at it, you'll have a linear equation that's going to look like that. Good? Questions? Good? OK. And that's it. That's basically it. So then what happens when you have equations that are not 